Hey guys, Jack from the site saying welcome back to another video. This is day three of daily uploads. I think my record is like five days, so let's see if we could break that. But today, lads and gents, we are going to be looking at the top five things that I want to be in Xenoverse 3. Not the five things that I think are going to happen, but five things that I would like to see happen. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would also like to see happen. So let's just get right into it. Alright, let's start with number 5. Number 5 is probably an obvious one, but I want to see a way better story in this game. The story in this game is so bad, they just reused the same one as the last game, and it's pretty much the original Dragon Ball Z story, which people say that they don't want, which they keep giving to us. And, to be honest, I would rather have the original Dragon Ball Z story than this. What this story is, you go in with your character, there are slight changes, but Overall, you're pretty much playing the Dragon Ball Z story, with a few bonus battles against like Mira and Toa and some shit. It's pretty bad. Um, so what I'd want to see is either make an entirely new story, an actual original story with your OC to go through, or go ahead and actually stick with the changing history thing, but actually make it so you could change history and everyone has like a different ending or something and you can actually change events and make them different. I want a much bigger multi-lobby, but not only a much bigger multi-lobby, a lot more things to do in the multi-lobby. I know the multi-lobby isn't the main focus of the game, but the multi-lobby should have a lot more things to do that I'm going to get into later down on the list for stuff that I want in it, but Xenoverse 1 had a decent sized one, Xenoverse 2 expanded on it, I want Xenoverse 3's to be the biggest multi-lobby that this game ever had, and I'll get into this later down on the list. But I want there to be so many more things to do in the multi-lobby. MUCH more character customization. The character customization in this game is pretty limited. So, I have a couple suggestions. I'd say, be able to give a race a specific height, not a thing that I've seen many people requesting, but... Maybe like go inch by inch and like have races have a specific height other than just four options. Same with body type, be able to like give them, if you want to give them a fat body type, you can give them a fat body type. If you want to give them a fit, a lean body type, give them a lean one, or like a big bulky one to that. Just make it different. Um, I want many new hairstyles because they're very limited and I don't think it would be that hard to come up with a bunch more hairstyles. Maybe tattoos would be a cool feature, hair going up when you transform, Saiyans having the option to come with a tail that actually moves. Um, also, just a thought, if you want to change your hair on your character, I've seen people request this before, don't make us have to go to the Dragon Balls. What would be cool is the ability to get a haircut somewhere in the multi-lobby and have another store for that, which would be a good way to spend Zenny. It could be like 100,000 Zenny a haircut or something, and that would actually be a pretty creative way to do it. The gameplay is actually pretty good where it is right now, but I'd say that a good way to make Xenoverse 3 a bit more fresh and feel more different is to tweak the gameplay quite a bit. It's already pretty good, but I'd say added some new battle features like dodging, not just blocking, because in previous games we had the ability to like move your head when you would dodge attacks and like actually dodge them, get out of the way of them, and not just block them, so I feel like that would be cool to add into the game. Um, and clashes suck in this game, by the way, so they should bring back where there's actually a winner to the clash. I don't know if that would be button mashing, or rotating your stick. Either one would be better than what we have now. I also think beam struggles should be back. I don't see why they weren't in Xenoverse in the first place. They were always a fan favorite to have in Dragon Ball games. Um, but obviously the gameplay is pretty solid, and they're gonna make some other minor adjustments, but these are just some more things that I want to see. And if you want to make Xenoverse 3 playable, if you want to make Xenoverse 3 last for a long time, then you need to add more modes. My biggest complaint about this game is that you run out of things to do really quickly. Let's be real here, nobody likes parallel quests, and expert missions are just as boring. So that leaves you with nothing but online matches after the story's done, and you do a couple of quests around the map. That's why this game got so boring for so many people. It's all you can do. Be creative and add in some other modes. Maybe add in some missions to help characters around the multi-lobby. I loved that shit with the Nuts Gang in Xenoverse 2. Just small little stories that you go through and help people with. Maybe the ability to fight people in the multi-lobby. Make it an option, though, that players can turn on or off. For example, like, you'd go into your settings, and if 
you put off for fighting in the multi-lobby, you can't be hit. Maybe you can add some different ways of training to level up your character too. For example, there could be a mode where you go in and like work out, train, or something to level up instead of grinding boring missions. Also, bring back the old tournament style. It's not that hard to do and would be so much more fun than whatever Xenoverse 2's tournaments give us. I'm pretty sure everyone's a fan of the bracket style tournaments. They're just like the most fun to play. Um, and those wouldn't get old for a long time, so that would make the game last much longer. Also, personally, me and my friends would like to see, um, you still have the six-person limit in battle, but I'd want to see a new mode in battle where it's the free-for-all mode. You can get up to six people in there, and it's every man for themselves, everyone fights themselves. Sure, it would be chaotic, maybe even a little ragey, but shit, that would actually be a lot of fun. Last but not least, I also think it would be nice if they added a 2v2 and 3v3 option into photo mode, just so we can get more shots of more than two characters. That would be pretty useful. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, I applaud for sitting through. If you agree with any of these, uh, be sure to let me know down below, and leave down below some features that you would like to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. If this game ever does come out, which I hope it does, hopefully it's announced 2020, it's probably not going to be announced this year, because Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was already announced. But... I hope it is coming soon, I'm pretty sick of just playing this game, and if Xenoverse 3 comes out, that'll be the new thing for a while, but I thank you all for watching, I have a pleasure for sitting through, I've been Jack from the Sight Saint, and have a good day everyone! Everything's